hello everyone so welcome in the new video so in this video we will try to unlock the mystery of code using real time debugging with live expression so what is debugging so let us say this is the code now this code is having multiple lines and to understand this it's little bit challenging part right now this is a very simple code related to led blinking part right but let us consider you have some big project so how you will going to check whether the code is perfect or not so that is what we will going to discuss in this lecture in this video so basically we will use real time debugging option provided by the our cube ide and we will unlock the mystery of the code so let's start with first of all we will select our board so our board is nucleo 144 our part number is 7z 267zi just select it i'm just giving project's name and in the image in the video you can see stm 32 nucleo 144 board is there so it will take some time so basically what we will do we will simply use one switch one led we will make a simple setup and then i will explain you the live debugging how to do the live debugging with live expression and this will be very very useful for you in future because whenever you have big code multiple files are there so this is the way how you can debug the code this is the way how you can have some idea that how your code will work right how the flow is there which is the starting point everything right so now we have the board so first of all let us simply clear all pins and as you know in our past few videos also we have discussed that one onboard led is there which is connected with pb7 so for led i am simply configuring is as a output and one onboard switch is there this is the switch right so for that uh our switch is connected with pc13 so i am simply selecting this as an input okay and then we have to provide the clock frequency right and now simply generate the code so this is the code now as discussed earlier i will simply make a logic so if user will press this switch this led should on turn on and when the user release this switch this led should turn off right so for that let us start with the initial part so first of all we will define some our uh, variable if the for is button press is equal to zero initial value right we will going to use two function void led on void okay so now first of all in while one we have to check the position of this button right so for that i will simply use one existing function this one 
right if now here what we will going to use instead of write pin we have to use read pin our pc13 is the port number of the button i will remove this part okay and we will simply compare this with gpio pin set right so it will simply compare if these two are equal means if switch is pressed they do something else to some other things right so here i am just assigning the value of our variable which is is button pressed so if this is set so it means button is pressed and if this is not set button is not pressed okay now here another logic if is button pressed is equal to equal to 1 then do something else do something right so what we will going to do so if the button is pressed we will call this function led on else led off okay and now our next part is we have to simply write the definition of this function void led on void okay and for another function which is led off okay now here what we will simply do we will again use this function because our onboard led is with pb7 so if this function will call it should turn on the led and if this function is called it should turn off the led so this is what our code is right so let us review it again for infinite time it will check the status of the button if button is pressed this will be one otherwise zero if this will be one it will call this function if this uh, if button is not pressed it will call this function that's it right so now let us just uh, debug the code so it will check whether any error is there or not and now you can see this completely okay and now we will start the debugging and for that you have to use this option debug test like right? and for that first you have to configure it so our code name is debug test debug live so you simply click one browse and you have to select our project which is test debug live here you have to select the file so here we are actually debugging the code and that's it and one more thing you have to check this option this option should be on enable live expression right and now simply click on debug so you can see in this video also in this uh, hardware this will upload the code right this led indicating that now code is uploading on the board it is already uploaded on the board right and now here you can see i will simply press the reset button okay now if i will press this button it will turn on the led and if i will release this button it will turn off the led now what is the debugging so debugging part is this here you can see we have this option live expression so click on live expression remove all and now from your code you can use some variable you can put the all variable in this expression and you can check its live status its live value right so for that our 
one variable is is button press so let us simply put it over here right and now i am just starting this debugging so you can see the value is zero whenever i will press this button you can see this value will change so you can see now button is pressed and the value is one so it is actually displaying the actual value from the board and you can see led is on when i will release this you can see it's this zero again here led is off again press again release so this is how you can debug your code now let us add one more variable let us simply use some message right So I am just defining one character test and uh, let us pass this with this message. Right. And uh, here whenever uh, this function will call we will pass led on okay and for this we will pass led off okay and here i am simply assigning test is equal to message this is just for debugging purpose okay we will not going to use this test variable anywhere else this is just to store the value of the message okay now all good again click on the debug i think some error is there no 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 error that is okay now again you can see it is indicating that now code is currently on the board we have the live expression and now i will put test Where is the? This is the test, right? So I will simply put this in live expression, right? Press the reset. Start debugging. You can see initially it is off, and value is zero. Now I will simply press this button, and you can see now it's on, and status is one. When I release this. it will change the status again so this is how you can do this live debugging with live expression and currently we are doing for the whole code in next video i will show you how you can do in step wise so that will be more important and useful so you you can actually execute your code line by line okay step by step because currently what happen it is executing whole code in a single way right in a single turn but in future i will uh, make a video to do this step by step execution right so this is what for today's video if you like my work then please like my youtube videos share it subscribe my channel thank you very much